any defense is going to win the game. And obviously the numbers at halftime, uh, 75 points, 50 from the field, 50 from three, 12 made threes. Uh, they were getting to the foul line. They were getting in transition. They were getting on the glass. They got whatever they wanted. Uh, I, I think the one adjustment that we made at the end of the second and carried into the second half, which really helped, was taking Nicola off of Blake, you know, put him on James Johnson. And so now when they were running the Kyrie and Blake pick and roll, we were able to switch it with Jeff and Aaron. And, and, and so that, that was a big part of their offense in that first half. And, uh, and that adjustment on the matchup kind of uh, took that away. Uh, I think Blake had five threes in the first half, and he had five threes for the game. Second half, 29 points, 26 from the field, and I think four, 17 from three. So um, that's who we need to be. You know, we talked about it yesterday, didn't show it in the first half, but uh, it was great to see us show up uh, with that defensive mindset in the second half. And that, along with the 37 assists, you know, was uh, you know, the key to us getting this win. No, I was getting him back in, man. Uh, I actually, I wound up having Bryn take a foul to get him in, but that, I didn't want to burn a timeout. So we weren't in the bonus yet. Bryn didn't have foul trouble, took the um, the foul to get Nicola in. Um, DeMarcus played well. You know, it was, you know, he gave us good minutes. Uh, Bryn, Zeke, you know, I thought our bench was solid tonight. Uh, Austin tried to play, you know, but, uh, you know, he's got a, a, a hip issue, uh, which um, was, he was unable to finish the game because of that. But, uh, yeah, we're always, Nicola's our best player. Uh, he's the MVP in the league. Get him out there and um, play through him and play around him. Coach, after turnovers, I kind of left playing. You cut rhythm in the second half. I, I think you kind of come to the conclusion that you want to go ahead and, and not do a piece of mind kind of lead to a little bit like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's one of those things, man. Like, if you're playing hard, you know, that, that's the starting point for me. Uh, if you're making mistakes, if you're over dribbling, you turn the ball over, whatever it is, you know, with bones, with rookies, you got to live with some of that. I mean, it's it's real, that. You know, go back in my seven years, when I first got here. The luxury that guys like Gary, Nicola, Emmanuel, all the young guys, they just they were, hey man, we're gonna we're gonna go through these growing pains. The big difference now, as we all know, is that you know the expectations around this team are much different. Um, but you know, but Bones is out there. He's trying, man. Two for nine. Uh, he had five rebounds, obviously, but. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll be better. And the only way he's going to be better is by, you know, playing and playing through those mistakes. DeMarcus today and through the course of the past 10 days, how are you evaluating? Uh, I would say overall, obviously, you know, uh, his his health has, um, you know, made his availability um, tough at times. Yeah, but when he at, has played kids, I think um, he's had a positive impact. And, you know, you can't just look at him in a, in, in a stat sheet. You know, because he hasn't made shots at a high level. I mean, I don't know what he's shooting in the games he's played. You know, tonight he was two for six. He did make a three, which is great. Um, but the rebounding, the defense, the toughness, the physicality, the edge that he brings, uh, I think is tremendous. So tonight, 16 minutes, he goes out and gets nine rebounds, five points. Um, and he's a guy that you can kind of play through. Um, so, and his, I, I've said this before, but if you look at his per 36 minute stats with us, uh, they really are uh, very, very impressive. So uh, I thought he was really good for us tonight and, and, and overall. Do you think it's likely he said he didn't want to be a bit? Well, after, you know, I'll get with Tim Conley. I believe today was the last day of his 10-day contract. So, um, you know, he's played well. I'm a fan. You know, one of the reasons that he's here is the relationship that I've had and continue to have with DeMarcus. But, you know, Tim and I will get together. We'll talk about it and see kind of uh, you know, where we're at. Yeah, well, and we're way past the halfway point. I mean, tonight was 53 games. Uh, yeah, but it, this is a challenging time for every team, for every coach, for every player. As I mentioned pregame, you have five games until the All-Star break. And, and I'm sure it would be silly of me to think that our players in the back of their mind aren't thinking about All-Star break and just getting away because I'm sure we're, we're tired of each other, man. I see this team, really, I, we, I see this team more than I see my wife and kids. And so we're all tired of each other. Like, so everybody's looking forward to that break, understandably so. But can you be a pro and can you, can you figure out a way to for five more games to bring it? 
to do your job and bring it and not just get through these games, but try to play well. So to, to, to end a three game losing streak was great. Uh, the second half was Denver Nugget basketball for me. Um, and, and then when the break gets here, that's great. But then you throw on top of that, February 10th, I believe, is a trade deadline. So then you got that added. So you got some guys that have got a lot of stuff going on up here and um, you know, just, just show up, do your job to the best of your ability. All the other stuff will take care of itself. Oh, well, I got a lot of desires and dreams. Okay. Talking about basketball kids, what are we talking about here? Yeah, well, no, I, I think, I mean this. I mean, uh, earlier in the year, we won five in a row at home. Then we lose six in a row. We just came off of winning five in a row, playing really good. Then we lose three in a row. Uh, we've been that kind of up and down team. But with that being said, you know, and I don't know what the record is now after 53 games, 29 and 24, I want to say, but sixth place in the West. I think it's pretty remarkable kind of where we are. Uh, and that, that's not underselling our team. When you look at everything this team has gone through and who we have gone through the season without, um, I, I'm really proud of our group for kind of staying with it and, and being where we are. Not pleased, not satisfied, and I hope we can grow and continue to get better as a last uh, you know, so many games are, are played, 29 games. But um, I'll get with Tim. You know, we've had a couple of conversations already talking about who we are. Uh, and you know, I think you owe it to yourselves. Like, it's not that you're looking to make moves, but you owe it your, to yourself, your, your franchise, your fans. Hey, man, we want to put the best team out there. Is there anything we can do that's going to improve this roster? If there is, we'll look into doing it. The trade, trades are really hard to pull off. If not, I love the group that we have, and I mean that sincerely. Now in the year you threw with Aaron Gordon, are you surprised at all at having to work with him as a connector past it, making the pass that leads to the pass or finishing the play that leads to the next pass? Yeah, I mean, it, well, let, let's start off. It was great having him back tonight. Obviously, when uh, you know he's available and out there playing, uh, we're a better team on both sides of the floor. You know, he's a hell of a defensive player, and obviously offensively, the versatility, 17 points seven assists, nine rebounds. That's a hell of a line for a guy that missed the last couple of games, uh, you know, with injury. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's still so much more room to grow for him. Yeah, you know I mean, like I, I think he came in, we were 19 and six after the deadline last year with Aaron Gordon. He helped us win a playoff series. Uh, coming into this season, his chemistry on the court with Nicola, as well as all the other teammates is growing. And when he has the ball, you know, uh, he's a threat to, to make plays for his teammates. It's not just Nicola. Again, we had 37 assists tonight, and you know, uh, Nicola has 10, Monte 8, and Aaron Gordon 7. So a lot of guys sharing in that style of play, uh, and that's, that's fun to coach, and that's fun to watch, and it's fun to play when you're a part of that. Appreciate it.